All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blacktop Magazine. And I'm here today in the Canberra Speed Shop lobby with our friend Barry McGuire. Barry, thank you for coming out. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, great to be here. It's a great, it's a great destination just to come and hang out with you guys. And, <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, all your, uh, I mean, everything just it just kind of blows you away when you walk in. It. This, is, this is a car guy mecca, man. It is. It's neat. <laughs> uh, and this whole part of town has a bunch. Well, it of it really shops, is. But... You're in, in, in the center of all kinds of car guy yeah. activity, so lots of lots of stuff and lots of friends around here. Right. So great to be here. Thank you. Yeah, we just had a party for the. Um, collector Car Appreciation Day here, a hot rod barbecue on Friday, and oh, gotcha. it was packed oh, here, so it was really good. neat. Yeah, that's a lot awesome. of car guys. What a yeah. great idea, yeah. So uh, we're here to talk about the Cruising for a Cure show. Mm -hmm. you know, we look forward to it every year at Blacktop Magazine and my car club, The Mercifuls. And uh, so I'd like to find out about, you know, some of your experiences at Cruising for a Cure. Well, it's only my most favorite show in the whole <laughs> world, you know. It's in my backyard. I mean, wouldn't it wonderful to have the, the largest one day outdoor car show in the world yeah, uh, or in, the, charity, in, the, in yeah. the country right in our backyard I know. and it's run by my most favorite person in the hobby debbie baker right? <laughs> who doesn't love debbie she just uh she's just the best yeah. and uh, she just poured her heart into this show and um i think everybody goes first because of debbie <laughs> and then, then they go because of the bad year, the cars, or whatever. But and the uh, cause, and all and, well, the cause is, is just absolutely amazing. In that. Right, I yeah. mean, it really is. I, I wonder. Uh, we'll never know uh, how many people's lives have been saved uh, mm -hmm. because of Debbie and because of this wonderful show, Crazy for a Cure. Right, right. And I, uh, I mean, well, we had an interview <clears throat> with her before, talk about the details and yeah, how many did, people yeah. have been saved and all that. Yeah. And uh, she said at one time you took a group of your employees, or I guess you do it every year. We do. We do. Uh, we, 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 get, we call our, our guys our, our men in black, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we get our army together. Okay, guys, here we go. You know, we're going in. Uh, we've done it twice live on TV. One not live, but we taped it on TV. Sure. The two easiest times to do it have been when I've, I've shot it on television twice and turning to camera while they're taking the blood. Okay. And saying, now look how easy it is, right? right. <laughs> and uh, those are the two easiest times to do it. I hate needles. So uh, oh, but when right. I talk to the camera, I forget about the needles. So I wish I could do that every time. No, right. it's really, it's so easy. Yeah. Uh, it really is. And um, But anyway, we, we do that every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, one year I had a, a really good friend, Rick Rollins, uh, who is from a different part of the car hobby. He's a classic guy. He, 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 he um, competes in vintage racing and has very high-end classic cars. Not a hot rider. Okay. And I said, come on, Rick, come, come and see a real car show. You know, just, just how you do. So he, he came with me a little bit reluctantly, had a great time. And when we got ready to go over, uh, there were seven of us since we called the Magnificent Seven. We, we all just started going together with six of us. Hey, Rick, join us. He said, oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't need to do that. And I, oh, come on, come on. When's the last time? Oh, I had it a while. Said, come on. Well, he did. And um, a month later, I pulled. He, he lives about five doors from me, and I pulled into my garage. He was standing beside my garage. Oh. And he said, um, I have some news, and it's not good. Oh. And, um, but he's alive today. That's been about... Um, Oh, that's probably been seven or eight years. Oh, boy. Healthy as can be. Right. And good. he treads a cruising for a cure. Right. <laughs> and Debbie Baker for keeping him alive. Sure, sure. And that's no exaggeration. Right. And uh, I had a guy, I was back in Syracuse, New York, uh, at the Syracuse Nationals this last weekend. And um, a guy came up to me and says, I'm alive today because of that wow. television huge show you did for cruising for a cure. Oh, when so you said that, and I went, got my test, and I tested positive, and I'm, and I'm alive today. Because, so it's not only how many are on the premises, but right. I don't know how many people we touch with our TV shows. Two of right. them that go all over the world talking to guys about wow, about, that's about it. Great. So uh, that's... we 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 try to mirror what yeah, <laughs> you know, but yeah. amplify what Debbie. The said. power of media. Huh? Yeah, boy, <laughs> no kidding. That's something. So that is something. So this person just saw your show and said, "Well, yeah. I'm going to go get tested. It looks yeah. like something yeah. I haven't done in a while." And exactly. then. He found out. Oh, yeah. Wow. But uh, so your friend Rick is okay. And Rick's great. He did the PSA fantastic. test. and they had some that, he, did, he did the PSA test and, and uh, tested positive. We looked at it, and, and it was up. I mean, it was serious. Yeah. They knew right away he, was, oh, he, had, he had a problem. Boy. Yeah. Uh, well, it is dubbed also the Save Your Life Car Show. So uh, there's reasons for that, that's yeah. for sure. Boy, isn't that the truth? <laughs> so, well, I... Uh, now, you have your 57 Chevy everybody knows about, right? Are, are you bringing something to the show? Um, I'm not sure what I'm taking to the show yet. It's, it's a little ways off yet, right, so I haven't right. made that decision. Okay. But, 
But uh, yeah, I, I have and that beautiful a, Woody. I have a few cars, yeah. uh, but people say, "What's your favorite car?" Well, usually, your favorite car is is your first car. You know, my fifth seven seven was my right. first car when I was sixteen. And, so the other cars I love to drive, but when I get into my 57 Chevy, I mean, I'm just automatically 16 years <laughs> old again. And I think cars keep you young. You right, know? right, right. You know? They do. All right. Well, for me, uh, my favorite car is the one I'm in. Oh, yeah. What, <laughs> you know? Whatever it is at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, what I'm yeah. in at the moment. Uh, Bill Marriott was asked one day, uh, because he's a fabulous collector, you know, he said, what, what car is your favorite car? <laughs> he had this great answer. Uh, the one that starts. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bill Murray, the comedian? No, oh. Bill Marriott. Oh, Marriott. Okay. Bill Marriott Hotels. Oh. He said, the one that starts. And any old car guy knows exactly. Right. Better than that, I'll just say one other comment that I, that I often uh, quote a lot from Jay Leno. Who is the ultimate car guy? Yeah, um, he really is in every respect. I don't say that to be flattering, but um, he says, you know, for 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 old car guys, it's not about how fast we get there; it's about whether or not we get there, <laughs> <laughs> or if we get there. Right, <laughs> and we all know uh, that car we got it just right, but somehow. Well, you know, right. something goes wrong. Sure. Or yeah. won't even start in the garage. Are you kidding me? This thing has <laughs> run like a top for three months. I've checked it out, and right. you know, you finally got it ready to go over the stage or whatever, and then it doesn't start. So we all have those problems. That's the charm of, <laughs> of old cars. You know. Well, Barry, thank you so much for coming out here. It's been a great joy. I love what you do. Well, love thank your you. passion. Thank you very much. Love the magazine. Appreciate love it. everything. It's it's an honor to be here. Here right. is. Let's do it again. All right, we'll do. All right, God all bless. Right. Thanks. Hi, I'm Pinky Sway, and you're watching Blacktop TV.